Hey there garden enthusiasts! Don't think you need a sprawling backyard for a thriving garden, you can grow your own food even in the smallest spaces with a DIY mini greenhouse. Yep, it's easier than you think, this essay will show you how to build one. We'll get our hands dirty and turn that unused corner into a thriving plant paradise. Mini greenhouses are like giving your plants a cozy little home. They protect your precious plants from harsh weather, sudden frost, no problem. Unexpected heat wave, your plants will laugh it off. Plus, you can extend your growing season. Imagine fresh tomatoes in November, it's all possible with a mini greenhouse. Now I know what you're thinking, Mike sounds great, but I'm no carpenter. Relax, I got you covered. This project is perfect for beginners. We're talking simple designs and easy to find materials. You can even repurpose old stuff lying around. Remember, it's all about ingenuity, folks. Ready to get started? Let's dig in. Before we build, let's round up our supplies. We're all about practicality and affordability. Essential materials. PVC pipes are lightweight and easy to work with. Wooden frames are sturdy and classic. Clear plastic sheeting is budget-friendly. Zip ties are quick and easy. Screws offer a more permanent solution. Online retailers offer convenience and better prices. Repurpose old materials for real savings. Get creative, find bargains, and build a budget-friendly greenhouse. Okay, we've got our materials, now let's talk strategy. Just like any good construction project, a little planning goes a long way. Location, 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 sun seekers. Plants love sunshine. Choose the sunniest spot you can find, ideally with 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight per day. South-facing locations are usually a safe bet. Weather watchers. Think about the prevailing winds and weather patterns in your area. Try to find a spot that offers some natural protection from harsh elements. Sizing it up space savers. How much room do you have? Start small and expand later if needed. No need to build a greenhouse the size of Texas if you only have a tiny balcony. Plant power. What are you planning to grow? Different plants have different space requirements. Make sure your greenhouse is big enough to accommodate your leafy friends. Sketching it out. Visualizing success. Grab a piece of paper and sketch out a simple design. This will help you visualize the structure, ensure accurate measurements, and avoid any head-scratching moments during assembly. Trust me, it's better to be safe than sorry. Remember folks, a well-planned greenhouse is a happy greenhouse. So, take your time, do your research, and let's get this project off the ground. All right, enough talk, let's get building. First up, we need to create the framework for our greenhouse. This is like the skeleton that will hold everything together. Step 1. Choosing your materials, PVC pipe dreams. If you're going for lightweight and easy assembly, PVC pipes are the way to go. You can easily cut them to size and connect them using PVC pipe fittings. It's like building a life-size erector set. Would you rather? For a more sturdy and traditional look, wood is the classic choice. Use 1x2 or 2x4 lumber to create a rectangular frame. Repurposing pros. Got old windows or picture frames gathering dust? Give them a new life as greenhouse walls. Just make sure they're sturdy enough and can withstand the elements. Step 2. Constructing the frame. Measuring twice, cutting once. Once you've decided on your materials and design, it's time to measure and cut your pieces. Remember the old carpenter's adage, measure twice, cut once, it'll save you a lot of headaches and wasted materials in the long run. Connecting the dots. Now it's time to assemble your frame. If you're using PVC pipes, connect them using PVC pipe fittings. For wooden frames, use screws or nails to secure the pieces together. Make sure your frame is sturdy, level, and square. Congratulations, you've built the bones of your greenhouse. Now let's move on to the fun part, adding the skin. Section 5. Wrapping your greenhouse. With our sturdy frame in place, it's time to enclose our plant sanctuary with a protective layer the covering. Clear plastic sheeting is your go-to for affordability and ease of use. Look for thicker sheeting for better insulation and durability. For a more rigid and long-lasting option, consider acrylic panels. They offer excellent light transmission and are available in various thicknesses. Repurposing old windows is a fantastic way to add character and charm to your mini greenhouse. Just ensure they're properly sealed to prevent drafts. Zip ties are a quick and easy way to attach your covering to the frame. Just make sure to use enough to create a secure hold. For a more permanent solution, use screws to attach the covering, especially for sturdier materials like acrylic panels. Heavy-duty adhesive glue or tape can also be used, especially for smaller greenhouses or when working with delicate materials. Once your covering is secured, inspect it carefully for any gaps or holes. 
Seal any openings using weather stripping, caulk, or even duct tape for a temporary fix. A well-sealed greenhouse will maintain optimal temperature and humidity levels. Remember, a well-wrapped greenhouse is a happy plant home. Take your time, ensure a snug fit, and let's move on to the next step. Section 6. Letting your plants breathe. We're almost there, folks. Our greenhouse is taking shape, but before we start arranging our leafy friends, there's one crucial element we need to address. Ventilation. Proper ventilation helps regulate the temperature inside your greenhouse, preventing it from turning into a sauna on sunny days. Just like us, plants need fresh air to thrive. Ventilation allows for air circulation, preventing the buildup of humidity and potential fungal diseases. A simple and effective method is to incorporate hinged flaps or openings into your greenhouse covering. These can be easily opened and closed to adjust airflow. For a more controlled approach, install adjustable vents into your greenhouse walls. These allow you to fine-tune the airflow based on weather conditions. Position vents at the top of your greenhouse to allow hot air to escape. For optimal airflow, consider incorporating vents on opposite sides of the greenhouse to encourage cross-ventilation. Remember, a well-ventilated greenhouse is a healthy greenhouse. So, let those plants breathe easy, and let's move on to the final touches. Section 7. Setting up shop. Our mini greenhouse is complete. Congratulations! Now for the fun part, transforming it into a thriving plant paradise. Consider the light requirements of your plants. Place sun-loving varieties like tomatoes and peppers in areas that receive direct sunlight. Shade-tolerant plants such as lettuce and spinach can be positioned in areas with partial shade. Maximize space by using shelves or tiered platforms. This allows you to grow a greater variety of plants in a limited area. Ensure adequate spacing between plants to allow for proper air circulation and growth. Overcrowding can lead to poor air circulation and increase the risk of pests and diseases. Place a thermometer inside the greenhouse to monitor the temperature. Most plants thrive in temperatures between 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 29 degrees Celsius. A hygrometer will help you keep tabs on the humidity levels. Aim for a relative humidity of 50 to 70 percent. With a little planning and attention to detail, you can create the perfect environment for your plants to flourish. Section 8. Keeping your greenhouse growing strong. Our mini greenhouse is up and running but our work isn't done yet. Like any good home it needs regular upkeep to stay in tip-top shape. Don't worry, it's not rocket science. Just a few simple tasks to keep those plants happy and healthy. Regularly inspect the covering for any tears, damage, or loose sections. Repair or replace as needed to maintain the greenhouse's protective barrier. Keep an eye out for any unwanted guests, such as insects or rodents. Early detection is key to preventing infestations. Water your plants consistently, but avoid overwatering, which can lead to root rot and other problems. Check the soil moisture regularly, and water when the top inch feels dry to the touch. Use a watering can with a fine rose for gentle watering, avoiding splashing water on the leaves, which can promote fungal diseases. Open vents or flaps during the hottest part of the day to prevent overheating and maintain proper airflow. Close them at night to retain heat. Monitor the temperature and humidity levels inside the greenhouse and adjust ventilation accordingly. Remember, a little maintenance goes a long way in ensuring a thriving greenhouse environment. So, keep an eye on things, address any issues promptly, and enjoy the fruits and vegetables of your labor. Section 9. Reaping the Rewards and Savings Congratulations my friend, you've built your very own mini greenhouse and you're well on your way to enjoying a bountiful harvest. Let's take a moment to celebrate your accomplishment and tally up the benefits and savings. Building your own mini greenhouse is significantly cheaper than buying a pre-made one. By repurposing materials and using budget-friendly options, you've saved a pretty penny. Growing your own food is a fantastic way to save money on groceries, especially with rising food prices. Enjoy fresh, homegrown produce for an extended period, even in colder climates. Reduce your carbon footprint by growing your own food and minimizing transportation costs. Gardening is a rewarding and therapeutic hobby that can reduce stress and improve well-being. So there you have it. You've not only gained a green thumb, but also a sense of accomplishment and a healthier lifestyle. Now go out there, get your hands dirty and enjoy the fruits and vegetables of your labor.